Welcome to the Stoffel Systems Insights video series. I'm Eric Stoffel, President of Stoffel Systems. The topic of today's video is the safe operating envelope as developed by Stoffel Systems. So what is a safe operating envelope of a BMS? Well, we define it to be the maximum, two things actually, it's the max charge current and max discharge current that are allowed at any given time in a battery pack. So for example, at a specific instance, the SOE could be broadcasting an allowance of 50 amps of charge and 150 amps of discharge, for example. So what does that look like in practice? So if I draw these axes and here is current and this is time, and actually, I'm gonna go negative as well because I'm gonna show uh, discharge current. So we're gonna use blue for charge current. So the SOE could be broadcasting a limit like so, in terms of say at this level, you are allowed to charge at 10 amps. And at the same time, the SOE algorithm could be broadcasting, say, 40 amps of maximum discharge current. And this actually is increasing in this scenario because we're envisioning a scenario where the battery pack is actually charging, which means that you would have less charge allowance because you're starting to use that up while charging. So for example, I'm gonna use black to indicate what the actual current flow of the battery could look like. So for example, this is the actual current flow that you can see is staying within the maximum charge and maximum discharge current limits. And this algorithm is tuned in such a way that if the application stays within these limits, you should expect to avoid any sort of faults or safety conditions that the BMS would have to shut down for. So this allows safe and reliable operation with an easy to use understandable envelope. So that's why we call it the safe operating envelope. So what happens if the application exceeds the safe operating envelope? So for example, what if there is an excursion of this current now that went up here? And you have this region that is actually above the safe operating envelope. Well, as implemented in our BMSs, we will actually terminate charge at this point to prevent the system from getting into an unsafe state. It is the responsibility of the application system controller to manage the current flow into and out of the battery to stay within these limits. Because if it doesn't, it has therefore exceeded the allowable limits of the battery pack, and thus the battery pack can cut itself off to maintain safe and reliable operation. So what is one of the other benefits of the state of, or the safe operating envelope? Well, I'm gonna write them out here. So the primary benefits are fault avoidance. And that's important because although faults are good for safety, you don't wanna have spurious shutdown. So for example, if you're driving an electric vehicle, you don't wanna have your battery pack shut down on you on the highway just because it detects that there could potentially be a safety condition. You wanna avoid that in the first place. So for example, you want soft throttling back or even a limp home mode before you shut down completely. So fault avoidance is very important as a benefit for safe operating envelope technology. The other major benefit is actually increased lifetime. And I mean lifetime of the actual battery pack itself. Because the SOE algorithm as implemented at Stoffel Systems doesn't just take into account the maximum minimum charge currents that would allow you to stay within, for example, cell over voltage, under voltage, or over temperature, under temperature uh, thermal limits. It actually also calculates what is the expected degradation that is going to occur from a given charge or discharge for a period of time in a given state of the battery and keeps it to a limit so that you can expect to see you have an expected lifetime of the battery. And what do I mean by lifetime? Well, in the previous video, we discussed the state of health. 
specifically the state of health capacity or state of health C. And so over here on the x-axis, this is cycles that the battery has. And you can envision a scenario where in one use case, the battery pack reduces capacity very quickly. This is a very aggressive use case, which may still lie within the fault avoidance scheme, but it is being thermally stressed or electrochemically stressed in such a way that you are going to have, say, 70% state of health after, say, 500 cycles. Versus with the Stoffel Systems safe operating envelope, we've optimized the algorithm to stay within a certain limit so that at the same point, you would instead expect to see a higher state of health because at given critical moments of potential damage to the battery pack, the safe operating envelope technology has limited your charge or discharge current to maintain a target cycle life. And so the primary benefits are more reliable operation within the fault avoidance scheme and an increased lifetime via increased state of health capacity over a given cycle life. So it's a very useful technology to have and it's very easy to implement. So one final point I would like to make about this is when you have your BMS communicating in a bi-directional way, either CAN bus, RS-485, Ethernet, or some other system, to your application controller. So I will say uh, this is just a general purpose controller. So the controller, for example, a motor controller, an electric vehicle, a power flow controller, and a stationary energy storage system, something like that, is actually the device that can command how much charge or discharge current is going into the BMS, or how much would be allowed. And the BMS now is going to be sending, okay, so you can charge at a maximum of 10 amps, and you can discharge at a maximum of 40 amps. And if the controller at that moment instead was anticipating to discharge at 50 amps, now it has to modify its behavior to stay within the state of uh, safe operating envelope, which is very easy to do because the values are just given explicitly. The alternative, which is implemented sometimes, is some BMS systems that do not implement safe operating envelope technology. The challenge is that the controller needs to basically build up its own battery model. What that means is the controller needs to have an understanding of how much current is allowed at given times to try and guess and avoid faults and increase lifetime. The benefit of the safe operating envelope technology is it maximizes the benefit and use of the battery pack while minimizing integration complexity. So we'll talk more about these details in a future video, but uh, definitely consider the benefits of SOE as you're implementing uh, your battery system and battery management system. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.